Hi, I'm Bonnie Francis, and we're here with Steve Goss. He is with Goss Associates. It's Insurance and Financial Services. Okay. So um, tell us what you offer at the office, and then I have him here because the Senior Summit's coming up, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But we want to know about the office. Where are you located? Well, we have three offices. We're located in Chestertown. The main office is in Easton. Okay. And um, we have an office in Naples, Florida. Really? Yes. And so in the winter months, we're allowed to go down and enjoy the Oh, wow. The beautiful That's weather. cool. Yes. And it's a great place to do business as well. Right. What type of things do people come to your office to find out about? <clears throat> we're a full service brokerage uh, business. We were founded by my father back in 1969. He's since passed and we've take, taken the, um, the baton, so to speak. And what we do is uh, we are a brokerage, so we work basically for the client and not one particular company. Okay. And um, we offer, we're primarily in life insurance. We do uh, annuities, fixed indexed annuities, and um, we have a, a life insurance auditing business so that we can basically make sure that people's life insurance is going to stay um, current and you know viable and because of this low interest rate environment a lot of due diligence is not being done on life insurance policies and they're they're basically dying before the people do oh, okay and then it's something that really needs to be um, looked into because of the because of the low interest rate environment right so how does someone get a hold of your office What's um, your the easiest way, our phone number is 410-822-2592. Okay. You can find us on the web at www.gossassociates.com. And we were laughing about yeah. all the S's, but yeah. it's G-O-S-S-A-S-S-O-C-I-A-T-E-S.com. You've said that a lot. Yes. You, I mean, you're used to, I oh, can yeah. tell, you're used to saying that. Exactly. So the summit's coming up May 19th. Yes. Um, have you been there before? No, this is our first year and we're very excited to be there. Okay. When you go to, it's out outside of town at our 4-H park here in Centerville. And when you go there, there are tables set up of different vendors and they usually put information out that would be of interest. Tell us what um, seniors might pick up at your table. Okay, um, the reason we are doing se these se senior summits and um, other senior events is to let the, the senior uh, demographic know that there is a, um, what we do is insurance settlements. And it's very difficult to explain, but basically what we do is we sell life insurance on the secondary market. So if you no longer need your insurance or want your insurance or can you know want to pay for your insurance, uh, your life insurance, what we do is we have buyers on a secondary market that will buy your life insurance. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's like a used car. Basically, to <laughs> some degree, it is like a used car. But like, let's say if you had a, a, an insurance policy that had you know, you've been paying on it for a while and it had about $10,000 worth of cash, that would be like the surrender value. So if you were to take that policy and, and, and give it back to the company that, you know, that made the um, offer, that um, $10,000 is what you would get. But if you were to take that same policy and sell it on the secondary market, we could get between two and five times more cash for you on that. I didn't realize they had that to market out there. Well, see, that's the biggest thing. This We are trying to educate as many people as we can that this is out there. Right. I go and I talk to accountants and attorneys and and seniors and, and everybody, you know, all the time. And I, I try to explain this to them. And just like you said, I didn't know that was out there. We get that all the time. This is ver a very tough road to hoe for us because nobody knows that this is out there. Right. Right. So if, if I would have a life insurance policy that's like $10,000 that I've paid on, but I have other money that my kids could use to bury me or my husband or whatever. Correct. And I didn't feel I needed this anymore. I could offer it to you and they could sell it and I could have that money then to put into whatever some other you want. investment. What we are finding is, and this is a... Um a um, sort of a case study. We had a, a, a gentleman who had five strokes 
I mean, it's not really a, 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 you know, it's a sort of a morose conversation, but he had had five strokes. He was living in an assisted living facility, and he and his wife, you know, all of their retirement money that they had saved together was being used to pay yeah. for his care. Right. And he had a life insurance policy, and um, what we did was they didn't have the money to pay the premiums any longer. So what we did was we took that policy and we put it out into the secondary market. And we have probably 35 to 45 different buyers out there, uh, institutional funds, um, venture capitalists, banks, and stuff. They're all getting in on this and, and are buying these policies. And they had, um, I think they had about 5,000 worth of cash value inside the policy. It was a $100,000 policy. When we got done, we had several buyers, and when we were all set, done, and finished, uh, we got her $40,000 for that policy. That went a long way. Right, for his care. For his care. And that's the type right. of stuff that we can do, you know, because long-term care for seniors it's it's expensive. Yes, it can wipe out a savings. Right. And what we hear all the time is, oh well, I've had plenty of money. I I can self-insure myself. Okay. Well, I mean, if you have millions of dollars set aside, that might be a viable option. But why not do something where you're playing with the house's money, so to speak, and buy you know a long-term care type of plan, or um, you know to do a, a life insurance settlement, right. because. You know, you get, they, they, there's um, statistics that say there's about like $57 billion of life insurance just basically goes cashed out or, or you know, surrendered without any value because right. people don't, don't know. know that this is out there. Right. And like I said, it's very difficult to explain, but it is such a valuable tool because, you know, they need to be aware that it is here. So if they come to our booth, we have plenty of information for them. And also we're giving away a, um, a gift certificate for Annie Steakhouse. Wow. So come in and, and if they want to, they can sign up for it. And then we'll pull a name out of the hat, so to speak. And we have, you know, a nice gift for the people that attend. Well, that'll be good. Hopefully we'll see you out there. It's May 19th out at the 4-H Park outside of Centerville. And people will stop by and get the information they need from you. I mean, people have different policies that they may not know what they can do with them. Exactly. So, you know, they could set up an appointment or just get some information out there so they know what avenue they want to pursue. Right. There's plenty of opportunities to do things that people do not know of, as you say. And it's just an education, and, and we don't charge for initial consultations at all. We don't, you know, we are here to help people, to be a resource, and um, just to let people know that it's there. It's now, a, you said you had two offices, Easton and Chestertown, correct. here. Yes. We, we're not talking about Florida right now. <laughs> no, let's not talk about Florida, because yeah. I'd rather be there right now with this yeah. dreary weather. Well, we thank you for coming in. It's Nice to meet you. Very nice and meeting you. And hopefully people will stop by the booth and get some information. I hope they do. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>